what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back and in this video i'm going to start talking to you guys about google's webmaster guidelines now google's webmaster guidelines are essentially just guidelines made by google obviously for making a quality website and they have a couple different guidelines and i'm going to talk to you guys about all the different ones but for right now i just want to show you guys this real cool tool i found online and this is varvy.com varvy.com I guess that's how you pronounce it and what you can do is you can actually just paste in the URL of your website and test it and what this is going to do is it's going to look at your website and it's going to go through and test for every single guideline so this one's good this one's good whenever you see an X it's basically saying hey this website doesn't follow this guideline so my website right now it doesn't have a site map and we'll talk a little bit about what that is but essentially it's a really useful tool and it's free so that's pretty cool so as we can see there's a bunch of different guidelines robot.txt um, a sitemap make sure you have alt tags in your images yada yada so let's go ahead and break it down and we'll just start with the very first one for this video which is robots.txt so basically anytime you make a website it should have a robots I say robots robots.txt file now what this is is it's basically a plain text file and it goes in the root directory or right after the home directory of your website so whenever you're making one just go ahead and right click new file and just name it robots.txt all right so what the heck is this this is basically a file that essentially instructs bots on what they're allowed to crawl and what they're not allowed to crawl so usually by default what's gonna happen is you're gonna have some you know search engine bot whether it's from Bing Yahoo whatever and it's just gonna start crawling your website every single page that it can possibly find however chances are that you have some resources or web pages that you don't want it to crawl for example like the admin page or maybe the moderator panel or maybe just some I don't know like nude pictures that you have online like hey uh, this is actually for me so can you leave these out of your search results so basically the way it works is it's really simple you only need to remember two things the first is user agent so what you can do is you can write star and that means that these rules that I'm gonna tell you they apply to all search engine bots however you can also do something like this say that you only want to do make some rules for like google's search engine bot well the name for that is google bot so you can do that but the majority of the time you just say user agent star so this means i'm making these rules for all search engine crawlers or bots whatever you want to call them now after this line let me pull this up again you essentially have a bunch of these disallow 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 now disallow basically says all right you're allowed to crawl every single web page except the ones i am telling you now if you just wanted to have uh the search engine bots ignore an entire directory or folder what you can do is write it like this so whenever you write this this means hey don't look at anything in my private directory those are like my personal things i don't want them indexed on your search engine now if you only want to say hey can you ignore one specific page you can do something like this private nudepix.html or you can say like uh, admin.html and if you have multiple rules say we wanted to disallow admin and the entire private directory and I don't know like a personal password.txt then this would say hey whenever you're crawling my site leave these out so again it's just basically instructions on what the search engine bot is not allowed to crawl now one other thing and this is actually a really important thing that I want to point out is that keep note that this file is actually used a lot by hackers and malicious people why is that well basically whenever someone goes to your site they say hmm I wonder if they got any you know sensitive areas any you know web pages on here that they really don't want the public to know about 
Well, what they do is they just look for a robots.txt file. And again, the majority of the time, this is just going to be used by search engines, but it's actually readable by anyone. So if they see a file or, you know, some directory in here, like passwords or database or, you know, personal stuff, then they're pretty much just going to go to it. So again, make sure that you never upload any sensitive information. And also just be aware that hackers may look for these pages and these are pretty much um i don't know for a lot of people who don't know this it's basically like giving hackers the blueprint to what to attack on your website so holy moly hot moly so there you go robots.txt and since we have a little bit of time i'll show you guys this i created a patreon account i think that's how you pronounce it so this is basically for uh, donations. If you guys feel like donating, my goal is for the end of the week, I want to raise $25. And by the end of next week, I want to raise $7 billion. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. And also a cool little thing. I did this interview for a website called Human Fox. And they basically just asked me, you know, how I got started programming. Um, asked me about like education and what my dreams, my passions are, and you know, some pretty cool stuff. So if you guys want to check that out, feel free. Humanfox.com slash capsule slash Bucky. So there you go. We learned a little bit about robots.txt files. And in the next videos, we're going to be covering the rest of these guidelines. It's going to be sweet. So I'll see you guys next time.